My, my, some wonderful stuff here. It's the fourth anniversary of Battle Cats. We're not going to be really talking about this too much. Uh, we're here for the third and true form of Astronaut Cat. But for now, this is a little quick glimpse over what the fourth anniversary is going to give us. Platinum ticket. Don't worry, guys. I've already got one. Uh, I'm waiting for the right moment to open it and use it. It's gonna be titanium. I'm gonna get titanium from it. So you know what? Don't worry about it. First time offer on now uh, is gonna be huge. I'm gonna be saving this one for the best of the best gacha pull, and I recommend you do the exact same thing. The community have all voted for like the best Ubers in the game, and now you can get them in this gacha pull. There's some weird questionable ones in there, but honestly, it's your best chance to get a really good Uber is by doing that pull. So I definitely recommend saving your cat food for that event, personally. Special cats, half off sale! And then you have some other crap, which doesn't really matter, honestly, too much. The treasure Fest seems actually really awesome. What's Treasure Fest? What's, what's, uh, what's, <laughs> what's Treasure Fest? But we're not doing any of that today! Today is all about Crimson Vengeance! A two-parter stage, we have Wrath of the R Cyclone Insane and then Revenge of the R Cyclone Deadly. Uh, I have already done the first stage, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again, guys, to show you how good I am. My video game prowess will be shown off here. The conditions and restrictions here are, hey, you can only use expensive cats, you know, like Ubers, the ones that carry you to victory. You might be thinking, oh, well, makes life a lot easier. Mm-mm, no, 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 it actually does not. Makes life very hard, you need those cheap cats. Those cheap cats are still very vital for your success. I'm gonna show you right here. Let the battle begin. I do have a punch punch unit up attack a medium combo going on. This is a very rare moment where I'm using combos here. I hope you are proud of me. I'm pretty sure this cat right here is garbage. I'm not going to summon her, but what I am going to summon is Matama here. If you don't have a Matama, that's okay. Use Hacker Cat instead. Hacker Cat third form. King Dragon Cat, why not? Delinquent Cat is going to be very good for those floating enemies, which of course there's a huge abundance of. There's so many floating cats here. I've got Catman. I can't not take Catman here. Catman's great. Any kind of Ubers you have that are like anti floating, take them. They're gonna be great. How to do this without Ubers? Oh, there's a question, you know, for the, for the greats. Uh, by the way, we need to like spend our money, otherwise, we're wasting money here. Personally, you want Valkyrie Cat, you probably want Bahamut Cat, you probably want, um, I don't know, man, that's a tough one. That's a really big, tough one, isn't it? I think Delinquent Cat is a great one right here. Unfortunately, my one's only level, like, what, 15? So he's not gonna do too much. I'm actually gonna stop summoning him now. I think it's actually a complete waste. We need to keep Catman alive. Catman's gonna be, like, our greatest asset yet. Now, unfortunately, here, our, like, cooldown is actually drastically low. He's, he's killing everything. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't going as well as I- uh, Oh, you know what? He's dead. Never mind. We're, we're good. But anyways, that's Wrath of the R Cyclone there. Pretty easy, right? Right? And now we have this one. Revenge of the R Cyclone. Deadly mode. This time around, we don't actually have any restrictions here. So I'm gonna be swapping up my team here. So my team consists of two meat shields right now. They're pretty goddamn bulky. You have Craze Wall Cat and you have Eraser Cat. Then over here, we have Necro Dancer Cat. A very good anti-flying cat. We have Dread Pirate Catley. The knockback will buy us more time and also stop like our long range units or long distance units from actually getting hits as well. Kind of like Ultraman and Tama. We don't want those units to get hit. As well as Bahamut Cat as well actually. We don't want them to get hit. So, so that's where Catley comes into play here. He's gonna knock that Cyclone back a bit, you know? We're not gonna get hit at all. Cameraman Cat, honestly here for like the major damage. If we can stack this cat up to no end, it can do insane damage and it's so cheap. It's a great cat to use. Other notable cats to use here, I would say uh, Hacker Cat maybe. Kankin Cat, I reckon would be a great cat to use here. High damage against red units. Delinquent Cat at a high level would be fantastic as well. Uh, I would definitely use him if he was a higher level, which he's not. Ways to slow him down and stop him and knock him back is what you're looking for there, honestly. As well as having like a high amount of like DPS at the same time. I have chosen normal Bahamut Cat instead of like, you know, his insane form. This way he can actually do some damage beforehand. He probably wouldn't be able to do much damage. He would like shoot towards the Cyclone. This is the Cyclone right here. Like, ooh. 
Oof. Oof. And then he would die. With Crazy Bahama Cat, he's gonna have a nice distance between him and the Cyclone. Thus, he won't be killed immediately. Anyways, Revenge of the R Cyclone. Deadly mode. And I'm hoping he doesn't pop out until we hit the base, okay? So what we're gonna do about that is not hit the base at all. Whereas we don't have like any DPS against- You know what, Catley, go. We don't have any DPS against these guys. There's a lot of bunnies here, actually. You know what? We have him. We have our big guy right here. He's a slow attacker, so he's not gonna overpower them at any rates. But he will like destroy them all. There we go, that's a lot of money we just got there. That was a hell of a lot of money. He will keep them at bay, so we're gonna be fine now. Keep spamming! The meat shield's here, thus protecting our Ultraman here. He's gonna do like a big attack there. He killed like a lot of bunnies there, okay? That's at least like five families of bunnies dead now, okay? Great job, Ultraman. Very proud of you. I don't have time to clap, honestly. I need to keep up the meat shields. <laughs> They're getting like scary close, actually. Please, stand back. Uh, Bahama Cat, I think you're next, honestly. The Rhino's gonna die very soon. And when he does die, we'll summon Catman. There we go, Catman, come on. We have stacked up so many cats. I'm very proud of my team right now. I think we got a good chance of doing this. We can't even deploy any more cats. That's how good we are right now. There's a mole there. There's, there's a there's a mole. What's a mole doing over there? <laughs> the mole's actually like terrifying me. Okay, our team has like thinned out to no end. Matam is dead for one. Uh, so was our great Ultra Man as well. He's also dead. The mole. You gotta stop that mole. Catman, stay alive. Catman and Walking Pierre is our best DPS yet. If they stay alive, we can keep up the DPS and do massive amount of damage here. Oh dear god, please. <laughs> oh my god. The mole is pushing us back to no end! Come on, mole, give me a break! Okay, no Ubers is available just yet. Right now, we're on our own. We're kind of struggling here a bit. Just keep up the spam for now. Keep up the spam. He must be like almost dead. We still have Warlock and Pierre. I Catman just died, so there's... There's that hero gone. Oh man, I'm scared. I'm actually kind of terrified here. Please, I wanna win this. I wanna show my views that I'm smart. God damn it, I'm smart, okay? I'm smart and funny, guys. I can be both things, okay? I can be both smart and funny. Please, game. I can be both smart and funny, game. Please. Okay, just keep up the spam for now. Warlock and Pierre is dead. The high pitch of my voice means nothing. It's definitely not symbolizing my increasing concern about winning this. Please, Bahama Cat! Unleash the final attack, Bahama Cat! Do it! Unleash the final- Please, guys! Do it! Bahama Cat, no! Oh, God damn it! No! This was supposed to be easy! Oh, he must be almost dead! Oh, oh man. 30%. How do we do 30% more? Oh, God. All right, what didn't do too much work here? I think Bahama Cat is a big kind of like let down here. I can't tell what small cats didn't do the job here. Yo, how about we use our first team for the second stage instead, okay? You never know guys, okay? You never know, maybe, maybe this is the strat you need. Maybe, you know what, no, that's dumb. I'm, that's a dumb thing to do. Is that a dumb thing? To, you know what, no, I'm gonna do it. Let the battle begin! This is not at all a bad idea and I will never regret this choice. Oh dear god, we have like nothing out on the board and we're about to hit the base. This is a terrible mistake and I hate my life. Oh dear god, no. We've already lost Catman? We've already lost everyone! Wow, that was... That was really quick. Okay. Um... Pfft. Not a good idea. Go back to the old plan. But Chaucy, the old plan didn't work! What are you going to do about it? Well, I'll... I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do about it. Sugoi Robot, it is your time to shine, my friend. Get rid of Bahamut Cat. I love you, Bahamut Cat. But I swear to God, this Sugoi Robot right here has never let me down. Yeah, he doesn't have a bonus against red enemies or floating enemies here. It's only against aliens and zombies. It does not matter. This is Sugoi Robot we are talking about. Sugoi Robot is powerful to no end, guys. You do not understand his power. Me and Sugoi Robot, we're connected. I know his power, he knows mine. His power is his like giant fist crushing down into the ground. My power is crude humor, which only half of you like. That's about to begin. I feel really good about this one. What do I want here? I want to stop and free Cyclone as many times as possible. Who does that? It's Necro Dancer Cat. And we stack him up to no ends. We then get increasingly concerned as the amount of enemies 
start to grow. <laughs> Go, you could do it, Catman! Do it! Oh god, this freaking sack of crap mole is destroying me right now. I believe in you guys. Come on, ma'am. Oh, no, 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 no. This is how it went last time. You know, when we lost and didn't win? The mole is so powerful. Oh, God. Catman, stay alive. Catman is like our best shot here at winning this right now. Catman and Walking Pierre. More like in Catman, though. Catman died, man. Catman died too young. I'm so concerned here. Oh, oh, God, please. He must be close to death here. He must be close to death. Come on. Come on. We're holding him in place here. No, you got this! No! Warlock and Pierre! <laughs> oh, God, how close! 45%? We got worse? I reckon part of the puzzle here is Kankin Cat. What do we get rid of for Kankin Cat here? So, Goy Robot, we didn't use a single time. Not a single bloody time. Get rid of him. Maybe that was the problem. Alright, there's Kankin Cat here. And you know what? I'm gonna go all out here. I'm sorry, Sagoy Robot. You didn't have your chance to shine there. I apologize sincerely. I, I hyped up Sagoy Robot and I never even used him. Kaman, definitely up there. I think Warlock and Pierre might be a dead freaking card right now for me. Kaman's incredible. Warlock and Pierre, probably just like not worth it at all. I'm ready. I'm ready, man. <gasps> show me what you've got, Cyclone. Show me what you've got. We want to spam these cats as often as possible. Our money's going to drain very quickly here. But we do have max working cats. So you know what? It's it's better than the last time. Have we still got all the, the cats here? Yeah, we still got all the cats here. Okay, we're good. You know what? There goes Ultraman already. I think Ultraman... No, Ultraman's great. Don't listen to, like, me. Matama's already dead as well. Yo, what's going on? Why is Matama horse shit right now? <laughs> I thought Matama might be actually like, you know, good here. Matama's always good. Why is she not good here? Okay, so far he hasn't been stopped a single time though. Come on, RNG. Help me out here, RNG. It's just a, it's a freaking mole. How do you attack the mole? Maybe Hacker Cat is really good for the mole? How do I kill the mole? I think the idea is just kill the freaking Cyclone very quickly and then the mole will be easy? Walking Pierre is still alive, man. My WP man is still alive and we get a chance to summon one more uber very soon. It's gonna be Catman. I, I chose Matama by accident. I truly do hope she's the right choice here. Matama, you know what? I can do both. I can do both here. The mole keeps stopping me. The mole is so good. I hate the mole. <laughs> Damn you mole. No mole, stop. <gasps> He's dead. The cyclone's dead. Oh my God. Okay, all right, just a mole left now. Just more man left now, okay? We'll just push him back. We'll push him back, hit the face of Walking Pierre, and win this. Let mole man, you know, rot here for the rest of eternity. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna let him stay here by himself and rot a lonely mole. I am pissed off. Knock him back even further, man. Walking Pierre, hit the face. Hit the face. Walking Pierre, do it. Yo, we've done it. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, that was a lot of work. We have Space Cat. Critical attacker. Apparently there's like a 8% chance of breaking the barrier and a 30% chance of critting for Space Cat. Then he evolves into Major Space Cat. I don't think that changes that much either. I think he still does like a 30% chance of critical attacking and 8% for the barrier breaker. But then finally, he evolves into Space Marine Cat. He looks bad freaking ass. The ultimate in zero gravity combat tech deployed to preserve the glory of the cat empire. Yo, let's compare these stats straight away. As you can see, submarine cat has higher health, a lot higher, almost double. And what you can't see here is actually he does a 50% chance of critting an enemy here. It's a 30% chance. I would say that's well worth it for that 20% increase of critting an enemy. The whole point of having this cat is so you can crit metal enemies. So you want that to increase with higher health here as well you know he survives a lot more he does more crits i don't know if he's like feasible for barrier breaking in cats of the cosmos i who knows i'm not that far ahead honestly but he's he's a damn sexy cat he's my space marine cat this is what you've come here to see anyways guys i'm done anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to bend over the like button and then bang it and i'll see you guys another time that's weird i shouldn't do that I, <laughs> let's do some hit the like button there we go, that's better. That's that's less weird. Bye. Bye 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 b
Bye.